In optics, the Fraunhofer diffraction equation is used to model the diffraction of waves when the diffraction pattern is viewed at a long distance from the diffracting object, and also when it is viewed at the focal plane of an imaging lens. In contrast, the diffraction pattern created near the object, in the near field region, is given by the Fresnel diffraction equation. The equation was named in honor of Joseph von Fraunhofer although he was not actually involved in the development of the theory. This article explains where the Fraunhofer equation can be applied, and showed the form of the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern for various apertures. A detailed mathematical treatment of Fraunhofer diffraction is given Fraunhofer diffraction. The Fraunhofer diffraction equation, when a beam of light is partly blocked by an obstacle, some of the light is scattered around the object, and light and dark bands are often seen at the edge of the shadow a euro of this effect is known as diffraction. These effects can be modeled using the Huygens' euro fresnel principle. Huygens postulated that every point on a primary wavefront acts as a source of spherical secondary wavelets and the sum of these secondary waves determines the form of the wave at any subsequent time. Fresnel developed an equation using the Huygens wavelets together with the principle of superposition of waves, which models these diffraction effects quite well. It is not a straightforward matter to calculate the displacement given by the sum of the secondary wavelets, each of which has its own amplitude and phase, since this involves addition of many waves of varying phase and amplitude. When two waves are added together, the total displacement depends on both the amplitude and the phase of the individual waves. Two waves of equal amplitude which are in phase give a displacement whose amplitude is double the individual wave amplitudes, while two waves which are in opposite phases give a zero displacement. Generally, a two-dimensional integral over complex variables has to be solved and in many cases, an analytic solution is not available. The Fraunhofer diffraction equation is a simplified version of the Kirchhoff's diffraction formula and it can be used to model the light diffracted when both the light source and the viewing plane are effectively at infinity with respect to the diffracting aperture. In this case, the incident light is a plane wave so that the phase of the light at each point in the aperture is the same. The phase of the contributions of the individual wavelets in the aperture varies linearly with position in the aperture, making the calculation of the sum of the contributions relatively straightforward in many cases. Strictly speaking, the Fraunhofer approximation only applies when the diffracted pattern is viewed at infinity, but in practice it can be applied in the far field and also in the focal plane of a positive lens. Equals far field equals, when the distance between the aperture and the plane in which the pattern is observed is large enough that the difference in the optical path length between the light from the extremes of the aperture is much less than the wavelength, then individual contributions can be treated as though they are parallel. This is often known as the far field and is defined as being located at a distance which is significantly greater than W2 slash I whereas the wavelength and W is the largest dimension in the aperture. The Fraunhofer equation can be used to model the diffraction in this case. For example, if a 0.5 mm diameter circular hole is illuminated by a laser with 0.601 quarter m wavelength, the Fraunhofer diffraction equation can be employed if the viewing distance is greater than 1000 mm. Equals focal plane of a positive lens equals a plane wave incident on a positive lens is focused at a point by the lens. All the rays have the same phase at the point of focus, so that this is equivalent to viewing the plane wave at infinity. Thus, if the diffracted light is focused with a lens, the observed diffraction pattern can be modeled using Fraunhofer diffraction. The diffracted light can be considered to be made up of a set of plane waves of varying orientation. When a lens is located in front of the diffracting aperture, each plane wave is brought to a focus at a different point in the focal plane with the point of focus being proportional to the x and y direction cosines, so that the variation in intensity as a function of direction is mapped into a positional variation in intensity. Examples of Fraunhofer diffraction, in each of these examples, the aperture is illuminated by a monochromatic plane wave at normal incidence. Equals diffraction by a slit of infinite depth equals the width of the slit is W. The Fraunhofer diffraction pattern is shown in the image together with a plot of the intensity versus angle I. The pattern has maximum intensity at I equals zero, 
and a series of peaks of decreasing intensity. Most of the diffracted light falls between the first minima. The angle, I plus or minus, subtended by these two minima is given by. Thus, the smaller the aperture, the larger the angle, I plus or minus subtended by the diffraction bands. The size of the central band at a distance Z is given by. For example, when a slit of width 0.5 mm is illuminated by light of wavelength 0.6 a micrometer, and viewed at a distance of 1000 mm, the width of the central band in the diffraction pattern is 2.4 mm. The fringes extend to infinity in the y direction since the slit and illumination also extend to infinity. If W, 